1000 here and okay. and we got burn is back in there somewhere mm -hmm. we're taking a little adventure today we're not going to be around a bunch of people we're going to be around two people um just just left the house was going to take a little drive just drive around get out for a little bit uh just left the house got up to the park at the end of the road our buddy steve messages us guys got 14 toolboxes of tools free well he gave him some tools like last week or this past week he said he may have more so we're on our way we're going to meet him at a restaurant and we're going to go over and pick up these tools we're not far away so figured I'd throw that in on the vlog so we should, both should make a little money on this after we get you know to where we can sell again so all right guys we'll let you know what's going on just had to throw this in here it's the back side of the sign I couldn't get the front side because I'm asshole on a motorcycle sitting beside us jamming and revving up revving up the bike and shit because as soon as I picked the damn camera up but this is the back side of the sign it says beer and wine to go <laughs> that's what I'm talking about okay guys so this is what we got here a whole bunch of stuff some things some of these don't have much in them like that's empty but it is it's got the key now this ain't all the stuff Steve got some stuff too um, a lot of the stuff you know I'll sell some of it I may keep anything I don't have I'll keep like this is a gun cleaning kit I'll keep these we can always use zip ties um, that's a knitting needle so you never know I'll just have to go through some of this which I'll go through tomorrow almost a full thing of oil there's some oil in that but uh There's some files. Oh. Nice piece of aluminum. I'll probably keep that. I may keep some of these files. Um, I'll definitely keep this. I don't know if that's a Barlow. Looks like an old Barlow, but uh, that's definitely, well, I'll, I'll sell it. But, uh, we just got to go through this stuff, which we'll do tomorrow in depth. I have one of these. Like what I'll do is the stuff that I don't keep, I'll go through and I'll make up a couple boxes and just, you know, sell the whole box, you know what I mean, for one money. Or I can sell different stuff, you know. Like a dollar a piece, depending what it is. And, um, there's a lot of files in there. You just have to go through it. A lot of the stuff I may keep. Um, so, uh, this is a gun rack. Screws, nails, I'll sell that stuff. Whenever I need something like that, I just go to the store and buy it. Um, uh, old silky saw. I can clean that up. Use that for camping. Get it cleaned up and see how, how good it, it looks. Uh, I mean, yeah, take it camping. Maybe. Do need a pair of these. Keep these. But we'll go through it in depth tomorrow. I'll definitely sell the gun rack. Um, there's so much stuff. I don't know what's in in these. 
big old rasp files. Oh, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Big old soldering iron. Yeah. This is one of those, um, those grabbers. If you drop something, I'll keep it. That's cool. And like I said, I'll go through some drill bits. I always keep drill bits. Um, for your uh, door locks on the older style locks that used to take these kind uh, bits you know you can always use bits okay so there's the other door lock thing uh, neat stuff Yeah, these, uh, these old tools, people buy them up. You know? Yeah, like, this box is, like, really no good. Um, because the, the latches are broke. Uh, something in this is pretty heavy. This I thought was cool. Of course, I will be keeping this. We'll clean it up. We'll do a video on this. We'll clean it up and sharpen it. That's pretty cool. See if I can get a name or number off of it and look at it. This thing here. Not cool. Safety stop. It's <laughs> pretty neat. Two reset buttons on it. Uh, these wrenches will sell, you know, uh, sell the trial. Old hammer, like that. Like that. I'll be keeping a lot of this stuff, really. Uh, bolts will be for sale. Not quite sure what this is. Right. Neat foot oil compound for softening and preserving all kinds of leather and oiled clothing. So that's pretty cool. That's almost a full can. Um, I could probably sell this online. That's probably what I'll do with that. But, anyway, like I said, I don't know what, just have to go through it. Uh, there we go. Feeler gauge, uh, torch tip cleaner, knife. Whoa. Still got fluid in it. If the flint hadn't have messed up, that probably would have still worked. This is a handle for a file. Uh, this box, people love these old boxes, you know, so. There's uh, big chisels. So yeah, I'm gonna unload this. Um, shame it's crack. But I love old tools, but I'll probably sell it. So. Um, Pretty neat stuff. Well, we're going to unload it. Monkey's wanting to go grab a bite to eat. Well, you know, pick it up and bring it home. But Mastercraft. So it's, it's just stuff like this, you know, that... Uh, you know, it's not all here. A lot of bits, like I said, and I may see the bits. Always stripping out bits. So, yeah, um, pretty neat stuff.
Big old pair of tin snips here. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Some more gun oil. Earplugs. This will be handy. Keep those. All right. I definitely keep that. I need a vice. I actually need one bigger than that, but a little vice is better than no vice. So yeah, we'll go through all this stuff tomorrow. There's a pistol grip. So. I don't know. I don't know if that's sell or not. But, um, I need one of those pliers. These are cool. I don't have a pair of these. Uh, they're kind of fucked up. But, um, old pliers. I, I will keep all the old pliers. Like these Lyman pliers. You know, they're old. Yeah, you ain't gonna wear them out with old stuff. Cool. Monkey here, huh, Monk? You playing? Not uh, looking. There's some more gun oil. Whole mm. bunch of gun oil. Mm. I'll be keeping that gun oil probably. Because it's good for more than just guns, so. Mm -hmm. Yep. Pretty neat, huh, Monkey? Yeah. Interesting stuff. Allen wrenches. I can make there's some money here. Save this wire. Mm -hmm. I can always use wire. Well, keep what you you need and cover it. Oh, let me show you this. Silky knife. Oh. Open it up. Silky saw. Open it up. It's a silky saw. Yep. Oh. You know, it's an old of old wow. one like you see the guys bushcrafters using on YouTube. Maybe you could clean it up. And make it oh yeah. Pretty. That's what I was just telling them, yeah. See it's a back cut too. It cuts when you're pulling back mm -hmm. instead of forward so the bed the blade don't bend. Oh. I never can close these, ever. Nope. Not gonna happen. But anyway, yeah, that's what that is. So awesome. Alright, I'll be back with you with my closing, outro, whatever. Okay guys, so wasn't much happening today, so we thought we'd come down here at the river. We haven't been down here in a while. Monkey. Hey. So we thought we'd do an outro down here. So let's walk down here to the water. Sun's setting. Pretty. We've had our boat down here a bunch of times. Yeah. This is where we would put in right here. Water's very low. <clears throat> but see, the dock's so damn high when the water's like this. You know? Yeah. You're looking at? That's like in the log there. I thought I saw a turtle. Thought you saw a turtle? Yeah, it's really low. Well, I don't know if it's really that low or... But see, this is where you're supposed to be able to tie off to. Yeah. Try getting out of there in a boat. 
right? You know? Yeah. But over in here, is, there's a lot of monkeys over in here. Mm hmm. We heard them going ape shit one night when we come back from the boat. Yeah. Up there, I had to row the boat clear from up there. My boat story, when the batteries went dead and I had to walk back out, it was about a mile and a half up that way maybe a mile a mile to a mile and a half and i had to row it mm -hmm. all the way this way and that is against the current because the current actually runs that way yeah yep so pretty cool yeah we haven't been down here since the last time we did a video i think wasn't it remember when we did this when they built all this new yeah yeah Uh, I used to bring a scooter down here every once in a while. Just come down here for a few minutes, get the scooter out. Yeah, one of these little houses right here when you do for sale, I'd, I'd hop on it. I don't know. Bruno, stop, please. There's a house up here on the right that's empty. Yeah. I'd like to remember how to get to that from the road. Probably down that road where the camp thing is. Could be. No, there's no road that way, remember? It dead ends at the camp. No, it goes, I think, further than that. A little bit, but it's not okay. a whole big thing. Well, I don't remember seeing any houses when we were walking back through and I was walking back to get the boat and the bear was following me. Uh, there wasn't no house because it's, now. it's, huh? I haven't been down that road it, for a while. Because they block it off. There's a gate. Okay. So... But yeah, I do know it's empty. It's all like all grown up. Mm -hmm. And I was going to stop next time we had the boat down here. And never did. I was going to stop and film it. But. Mm. So. Is that the one with the swimming pool? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. I don't know what I had. I know we just That's cruised past it. Tree. Yeah, it's a root. Mm -hmm. No. No, it ain't a root, is it? It is a tree. I think it came out of there. So. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. But, yeah, she always said if one of these houses would come up for sale, that's cool there. Mm -hmm. Of course, you get a lot of noise from the people boating. Uh, like when you hear us, when we're out in front of the house and you hear us talking about, you hear those airboats, this is where they're at. Yeah. They're running this river. Um being on the river, I don't think they have to shut down at a certain time. But at the lake, I think their boat's 10 or 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't have, have them out after that. But out here, I don't think it matters. <clears throat> Look, there's a gator right there. See it? Yeah. Let's wow. see if I can get him here. Bruno, stop. I might smell Bruno. There's I a gator. I like doggies. Alligator. Cool. This place is full of gators. Very infested. Look at him. He's watching us. He slowed down. His head's still up. If we was closer to the water, I'd go chick, 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 like this in the water, and he'd yeah, come at, he'd come at, at towards us. But yeah, there's the gator. <laughs> cool, huh? Yeah. A wonderful day. We was going to stop at the. Um, there he goes. Oh, he went under. Mm -hmm. We was going to stop at the um, the caves because I thought, you know, hell, we could go to the caves, but we didn't because I was like, well, you know, we've already filmed it twice. That and I thought, yeah, and I thought, well, you know, so but when we come past, everybody else had the same idea. There was like eight vehicles sitting there. Yeah. Because I thought, you know, it's out in the middle of nowhere. Everybody's thinking the same thing. I think a lot of people are getting tired of watching TV and need some fresh air. I've seen people playing basketball. I've seen people having parties, like family parties. <laughs> Trying to get another look at this gator. Uh-huh. He's on a mission. <laughs> he knows where he's going. Down the river. Probably down there. He's a little one. The rest of them. Yeah, it was. Uh, 
you go up here a couple miles and it gets real shallow and there's a bunch of gators up in there that's there's where a lot we got of, stuck there's a lot of those um those lilies lily pads up in there and um uh but yeah there's bunches hundreds of them up in there so yeah so that's pretty cool so we thought we'd just come down do it do the outro here show you guys the river again mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah it's so pretty yeah i think i had a uh a little clip with a GoPro on the front of the boat. Remember, we brought the boat down, yep. mm -hmm. and we went to take off, and the throttle cable broke. Yeah, and I think I was right in here. Yeah, but yeah. So, uh, so there we go, guys. Yeah. So that was our day, mm -hmm. our Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. So stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll we'll get to sorting through them tools and check them out. There you go. They're my treasures. Mm -hmm. Not gonna be a lot of them for sale. <laughs> <laughs> no, after <laughs> him going already through them, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Monkey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all. All right, Shea Bear Myth Man Legend, gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Have a great week. And right in on his eyeball. Yeah? Yeah, cool. He watching this way or is he looking somewhere else? Wow, you know, it almost looks like a crocodile, but we don't have crocodiles here. But damn, if you look at that snout, come here. Somebody put him in there. Look at his snout. Yeah. That's his snout. Strange. Do alligators and crocodiles get along with each other? I don't know. I don't know anything about a crocodile. I didn't know anything about alligators till now. <laughs> <laughs>